Mitchell Trubisky was the second overall pick back in 2017 by the Chicago Bears. He was supposed to be the guy to turn their franchise around and make them a winning team again. As we know, that was not the case for Mitchell Trubisky. He had a 29 and 22 record in 51 games played for the Chicago Bears. He also had a 64 to 37 touchdown to interception ratio, which to me, honestly, that's not too bad. Also to mention, the Chicago Bears picked Mitchell Trubisky over quarterback Patrick Mahomes, who now has three Super Bowls so far in his tender in the league. Now the reason they picked Trubisky over Mahomes is quite simple. At the time when Mitchell Trubisky was coming out of college from North Carolina, he was supposed to be the next great quarterback. Basically, he was supposed to be what Patrick Mahomes is now. Obviously, that did not pan out as I mentioned, but like I said, at the time, Mitchell Trubisky was a lot better than Patrick Mahomes. It just seemed like Patrick Mahomes developed a lot better in a better system. I honestly think it was the right pick at the wrong time. I feel like if the Bears would have not gave up on him, like I said, he wasn't even that bad. It's just that at the time, they got Nick Foles and they thought Nick Foles was going to be their starter to go. And obviously, he was not either. And without further ado, we're going to hop right back into Madden 19 and see if we can save Mitchell Trubisky's career with the Chicago Bears. He comes into this at a 74 overall. Now going into his second year in the league, he's 24 years old and he's a pretty young quarterback so I think we can get him to develop into the right situation here. As we take a look at the supporting cast for Mitchell Trubisky going into year two, we have prime Jordan Howard, Allen Robinson, Prime Allen Robinson, Taylor Gabriel, Anthony Miller, Trey Burton, Deion Sims. That offense looks nice. The defense side of the ball, the prime of his team. You know, we got Adrian Amos, Kyle Fuller, Bryce Callahan, Eddie Jackson, Danny Trevathan, Eddie Goldman. This defense was stacked back then. This is when they made that little playoff run and it came down to Cody Parkey and he ruined it for them. But let's take a look at the free agency and see if there's anyone we can add. I thought, you know what, why not? Let's add Mitchell Trubisky, another target, and we're going to add Eli Rod on the core and we're also going to add on the defense side of the ball Jonathan Hankins to bump up that defense even more this defense should not be allowing anything and now we take a look at the new team I think one thing I've got to do is cut Cody Parkey because that man ruined the Bears season and the goal is pretty simple it's going to be to win the Super Bowl or even make it and without further ado let's go ahead and sim to the midseason mark and see where we're sitting at so now we're at the midseason mark we're three and four not too bad but I think we could definitely do better I mean I didn't really have much expectations for this team going into it and Mitch Trubisky almost has 2k passing yards 15 touchdowns three interceptions with a 63 percent completion percentage so overall not terrible Jordan Howard has 377 on the ground and three touchdowns and then Tariq Cohen 168 and a touchdown and even Trey Burton has a rushing touchdown on the receiving court Taylor Gabriel leads the team in catches it's 560 yards and six touchdowns Allen Robinson 37 503 and three Trey Burton 36 436 and two and then Eli Rogers 28 catches is 231 yards and three touchdowns we are allowing a lot of sacks and we definitely have to cut that down i don't know if you guys noticed in every simulation video the offensive line is terrible no matter who is there on the defensive side of the ball leonard floyd leads the team in sacks and prince mukamara leads the team in interceptions Bengals legend and Cody Park he's 9 for 14 on field goals so I guess I forgot to cut him this dude's just ruining the Bears hopes every single year <laughs> and overall at the midseason mark I wouldn't say terrible but we definitely are not amazing let's go ahead and send to the playoffs and let's see if we make it so it doesn't look like we made the playoffs as we finish with a 9 and 7 record honestly not too bad I'm not mad at it I think we passed my expectations and let's see if we have any awards here for Mitchell Trubisky nothing in the MVP voting but he does come 10th for offensive player of the year so that's something we can definitely check off best quarterback he comes ninth so he comes top 10 in two awards so i can consider that a success and somewhat let's check out the stats 4.2k passing yards 32 touchdowns and 10 interceptions with a 62 percent completion percentage jordan howard runs for 1k and nine touchdowns street cohen also adds three touchdowns and 378 trey burton leads the team in catches with 79 899 and seven touchdowns taylor gabriel 73 catches a thousand yards and nine touchdowns Allen robinson gets 71 catches 921 yards and four touchdowns and then Eli Rogers 61 catches 576 yards and five touchdowns not too bad for season one let's go ahead and sim to season number two of the simulation we are now in season number two and it doesn't look like we really added anything on the offensive side of the ball looks like we actually drafted a wide receiver his last name is Hopkins maybe he could be the next DeAndre Hopkins who knows only time will tell we also signed Eric Flowers to be our new right tackle so we have downgraded and I'm gonna go ahead and auto upgrade all these players here because it looks like they have a lot 
lot of upgrades and the defense pretty much looks the same as well but you just lost a couple of players and we somehow have gotten worse we actually have gotten rid of cody parkey that is great news for bears fans i know they love to see it we're gonna go ahead and sign koane ely to be our new right end because the one we have right now is i'm pretty sure a 74 overall so that'll upgrade us a little bit and that'll be it for the free agency signings for us let's go ahead and sim to the midseason and let's see if we're in a race for a playoff contention and at the midseason mark we are four and three so i guess we've gotten a little bit better and mr biscuit has an upgrade we're gonna go ahead and add that to the strong arm he's not gonna get upgraded in the overall but he's gonna get plus one a deep throw accuracy and plus one a medium throw accuracy let's check out the stats so far this season mr biscuit has thrown for 1.9k 17 touchdowns six interceptions with a 65 percent completion percentage jordan howard has ran for 458 and three touchdowns and Tariq kellen has also added a touchdown on the ground trey burton 38 catches 406 yards and one touchdown alan robinson 35 catches 450 and five taylor gabriel 33 527 yards and five touchdowns and the offensive line has somehow gotten worse i just don't see how this happens in every year of my simulations the defense eddie goldman and akeem hicks are tied with sacks so it looks like we're not getting as much pressure on the defensive side of the ball and danny trevathan and bryce callahan both have an interception but it just seems like our defense is starting to slow down now but let's go ahead and sim to the playoffs i'm gonna assume we're gonna make it here if we can keep this up we're four and three right now let's do it and we do make the playoffs we finish the season 12 and 4 we win the division and we get the first round by and we only lost one game to end this season and mitch trubisky has two upgrades that we're gonna apply to strong arm so he's gonna go up to a 79 overall with confidence and mitch trubisky comes second in mvp voting right behind tom brady of course he comes second of course tom brady's still in the league and that one really bites it hurts because we could have just won an mvp with mitch let's check out his stats from this season he throws for 4.3k 41 touchdowns and nine interceptions but a 65 percent completion percentage what an upgrade compared to last year he's balling right now jordan howard adds 1.1k and 11 touchdowns on the ground and taylor gabriel 78 catches 1.1k and 13 touchdowns Allen robinson 78 catches 972 yards and nine touchdowns and then Keith and Hopkins 69 to 583 and 6. And guess what? We're not even playing in the first round, so we're going to sim to the next round. Let's see who we're taking on. And we're taking on the 11 and 5 Atlanta Falcons. And let's hop into it and let's see if Mitch Trubisky can get the win. All right, let's see if we can get it done here in the divisional round versus the Falcons. We're going to have a tie game 7 to 7, 10 to 7 Atlanta. We're not going to be able to retake the lead here. They're going to go up 17 to 7 now. This game is going to be a very back and forth game as we finally put up 7, 14 to 17, 21 to 17. Now it looks like we're finally getting in rhythm 28 17 31 17 and mitch trubisky and the chicago bears are gonna get it done in the divisional round versus the atlanta falcons and we're moving on to the nfc championship and mitch trubisky wins player of the game let's check out the stats mitch throws 26 for 38 372 yards and four touchdowns compared to zero interceptions what a game he balled out jordan howard adds 41 yards on the ground taylor gabriel gets seven catches 129 and a touchdown and then jordan howard scores the other two touchdowns for us on offense and we're taking on the washington redskins and the nfc championship can mitch trubisky and the chicago bears get it done here let's hop into it and let's find out all right let's see if trubisky can get it done we're going to trail this game three nothing we're going to retake the lead seven to three they're going to take it back ten to seven we're going to tie it up ten to ten we're going to go up 13 to 10 now as they go up 17 to 13 16 to 17 22 to 17 20 to 22 can we keep this lead late in the game they're going to go up 23 to 22 30 to 22 we're gonna have an opportunity to tie it here we're gonna tie it 30 to 30 looks like this game is gonna be heading to overtime and we're gonna take the win with a touchdown as we win 36 to 30 and the chicago bears are moving on to the super bowl with mitchell trubisky and this video has been perfect so far other than the first season mitch trubisky ends this game 27 for 44 325 passing yards three touchdowns to zero interceptions jordan howard 64 yards on the ground three cohen also adds 32 trey burton eight catches 72 yards and a touchdown alan robinson in five catches 71 yards and a touchdown and then Tariq Cohen also has a touchdown and we're taking on the Cleveland Browns in the Super Bowl that's a little bit of an odd one the Bears and the Browns but let's go ahead and hop into it and let's see if we can get it done late in this one we're gonna start this Super Bowl up seven nothing that's always a good sign they're gonna tie it up seven to seven here and this might be an offensive battle with both teams Baker Mayfield versus Mitch Trubisky is gonna be a 14 to 7 game they're gonna put up three it's gonna be 14 to 10 now they're gonna put up another three 14 to 13 we're gonna go up 21 to 13 
13 in the fourth quarter. They're going to tie it up 21 to 21 late in the game. This game's going to overtime. Can we get it done? And we cannot get it done as we fall in the Super Bowl 24 to 21. And we just miss out on a Mitch Trubisky Super Bowl as we weren't able to get it done against the Cleveland Browns. And what a way to end this one. We make the Super Bowl, but we lose by three points as Mitch ends this game 21 for 42 276 passing yards three touchdowns and one interception and that's gonna do it for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed I just want to say thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers lately this channel has been growing like crazy and this is just a dream to me and this is only the start so I appreciate y'all you guys have any ideas let me know down in the comments this is who signing off see ya